join us for tea time so hey guys welcome for the tea for two questions we are the halisi podcast my name is doris kibibi and we're pretty excited today because we want to know each other better so i will let my co-host introduce herself hi i am nancy nyabohe co-host of the halisi podcast i am excited to be here because i want to know my co-host better i think i know her but i'm so sure i don't really know her <laughs> yeah So we have we have 36 questions 18 for me 18 for you yeah um i will ask a question and answer first and then i'll bounce back the the question to you no uh-huh. problem i'm so ready so who's gonna start let me start yeah please do <laughs> please do yep <clears throat> so what has been your favorite memory this year i think having to spend time with my mother in nairobi uh-huh. i think that, that that was my favorite memory honestly because we got to bond on a different level Uh, we had to have those uncomfortable conversations that we never actually had them uh-huh. yeah before so i think that was my favorite moment and going and taking her for dinner for the first time oh, actually oh nice That's yeah really yeah that uh, as for, for me, me it was my birthday you guys surprised me so Ooh. yeah that was i nice. remember <laughs> that i remember that so let me see what question i have for you what do you think would be the perfect gift to get me That's so easy for you. <laughs> It's so easy because I already know you told me the other day. Oh god. Uh, the eyeshadow. But but, but what do you think is so perfect for me though? Oh. Apart from what I actually hinge to. Oh, okay. Any technical equipment? Uh-huh. For your business? Okay. Yes. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, true. true. Yeah. What do you think is the perfect gift for me? A perfect gift for you? I think I think gifting you a cause in IT or something. Yeah, ah, I think that would be a perfect gift for you. That's interesting. I didn't see that. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I know. I know. Wow, what's <laughs> This is interesting. What's the craziest most daring thing you've ever done? Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is so embarrassing to say in camera. <laughs> sure. But I think the most embarrassing I've ever had is uh, kissing a stranger in a club how, oh my god yeah how, how long have you guys known each other a minute <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i think that's that's the craziest that i've ever cool. done yeah ha huh, my craziest moment is actually embarrassing as well yeah i'm not sure i can say this on camera <laughs> you just have to because I, i i did with mine so you have to oh my goodness I'm not saying it anymore. But you have to say it. So what are the five items that you cannot live without? I think my driving license because uh it has all my personal details and uh-huh. it has my my blood group as well. Uh-huh. So if in in the event anything happens and I'm with strangers, mm-hmm. you know, it's easy to yeah, That's a deep way to think about a yeah, driving and license. Insu- <laughs> insurance. Uh-huh. They're mostly not beauty products, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> And uh-huh. my certificates of course my certificates okay. yeah uh-huh. uh phone mhm those are three Wi-Fi. two more no four is four okay. yeah uh-huh. phone and wifi a phone and wifi yes or oh. data or internet yeah. oh yeah yeah okay for What me basically you? it's my phone of course uh-huh. i can't live without my phone yeah. food <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't survive without a fridge. Uh-huh. Uh, those things have to exist in my life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what else? Yeah, makeup. Uh-huh. Uh, not like I really have to wear makeup, but you know, I mean, it's good. Yeah, and then uh, water. Uh-huh. Yeah. What secret or talent do you possess that not a lot of people know of? Ooh, damn. Uh-huh. I can strip. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really? I, yeah, I think I think I'm a good stripper, honestly. Ah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. It's just that in Kenya you don't get paid that much for the views that talent. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's that's for me. Mm. And you? Which secret talent do you? I can do? actually cook. Popular opinion, I can cook. Mm. <laughs> I'm a good cook than most of the people <laughs> close to me. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh so what is something that you would say I have taught you? Ha, <sighs> resilience. resilience, resilience. Yeah. uh for me i think i would say uh, you, you are always a, um what would i say like you you're adaptive in nature like it's easy for you to adapt oh, to whatever really? that's happening so quickly yeah to me that's that's what i learned from oh you. my goodness yeah. i really needed to hear this today oh <laughs> 
So <laughs> what movie would you play a scene in and which character would you portray if you could? A movie? Yes. I think I would play um, in Lucifer. And I think I would like to be Mazikin, the demon. Oh, yeah. okay. I think it's, it's a version of Cinderella. Cinderella. Selena Gomez. It's, uh -huh. it's a Kitambo one. Kitambo uh -huh. one, yeah, yeah. Selena Gomez played as Cinderella. I can't remember the name. So you're more of like but the sweet, angelic yeah, kind of person. Yeah, who's mistreated. Oh, I like no. playing the victim. No, you know, no. You know? I, I love playing the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The demon. Mm -hmm. So which memory of you do you hold dearest? Maybe any moment with my family because any I with just feel at, at peace when I'm with my family when I go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. To me, the the one memory that I hold dearly is spending like my my childhood when my mom used to cook for me my favorite uh -huh. foods. Uh -huh. As a kind of way of saying sorry because she wouldn't say sorry. She's <laughs> she's an African mom. A typical African mom. Wow. Of course, she can't okay. say sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, which memory of ours do you hold dearest? Any time of, when we were in high school, I know you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say high school, I swear. During, I, in fact, the one memory that I hold dearest of us, it's during that time we actually when snuck we up a phone <laughs> and, you, and you backed me up. <laughs> I think that was for me. I yeah, know. I'm yeah. sure you didn't expect it from me, but... Yeah, yeah. how you, you were cold and you knew you were going to be exposed, but still you stood up for me like, no, she didn't have a phone. Thank you. Yes. But I still got suspended. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. so what, what, if you'd make a difference in the world, uh -huh. what would you be known for? Creating a space whereby people can, can feel open uh -huh. and not judged like they can be them mm -hmm. they can say anything and feel free because i'm one person that i'm very non-judgmental like you can do whatever you want to do so mm -hmm. i feel like i'll be remembered as a person who gives people that audience to to express ah. themselves freely interesting yeah. yeah for me that is for me whatever <laughs> talent i will possess mm -hmm. i want to be known for that it's yeah. for the talent. <laughs> if it will be dancing, uh -huh. you know, I want to be known for I, I just want people to acknowledge that, you know? Oh, that's, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So, name something you think I'm really good at. Am I singing? A girl, you can sing, man. Damn. I know. Don't make me feel I really bad. like when you're singing. Don't make me feel bad. Mm -hmm. I think you're so good at uh, IT. Like, it's something Ooh. for you, like yeah. natural. Yeah, you're just a natural, <laughs> honestly. I envied you back then. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So, what do you like being complimented on? Huh? My ass. <laughs> <laughs> like when somebody's uh, like, "Damn!" Yeah. I'm like, Ooh, "Yeah." You see that? Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Honestly, I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get it. Mm -hmm. So if you could change anything about me, what would it be? You are so empathetic to people. Yeah. Yeah, to a fault. Okay, <laughs> <Sip -sip. laughs> what would you change about me? Nothing, honestly. Oh. Yeah, I feel like you're just amazing. I wouldn't change Really? Anything. Yeah, honestly. At a constructive criticism? Mm, mm, mm. I don't have any. Uh -huh. Like, uh, about you as a person, I don't. Uh. Back then in high school, I would have said <laughs> a lot of things. But you've come a long way. Thank so, you. Yeah, I think there's nothing I would change. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, describe me in three words. Boldly, unapologetically, confident. Ooh. Yeah. God damn. Mm -hmm. Ish. Uh, ambitious. Uh -huh. Resilient. Uh-huh. And bold. Yeah, you are bold, by of the course. way. You are bold. Yeah, you are bold. <laughs> if you skip that. So is there, anything, uh, is there anything on your bucket list that involves me? Yes. Oof. Hallelujah. Yes. But I don't have to say it, right? Yeah, just, yeah. just the yeah, that there. Is. That, yeah. Yes, so yeah, many. Thank you. I didn't thank even you. think about that. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is for you too. There is. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What's the silliest thing I've ever made? <laughs> I've ever made you do. Oh, our, when we did the, when you did the cute the I think the the game. I made you, I made 
to get your bra off on camera. So yeah, I think that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's the silliest. You've made me do, yeah. but I don't think I've made you do anything. Yeah, but you've never made me do anything. Silly. Yeah, you're always the craziest one between <laughs> the two of us. Yeah. Okay, I get that. So, what has been the best part of our friendship? We moved from not liking each. Okay, me like it was neutral. <laughs> you, you didn't like me, but now here we are. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the thing is, we keep growing, like we keep yeah. evolving. Mm -hmm. There's certain things about us that, mm -hmm. you know, I can't really, I don't even have the right words to describe. I think the best part of our friendship uh, has been since we started the podcast, uh, doing it together. It's uh -huh. been more therapeutic. I think we get to share so much on a different level mm -hmm. than, the, than the usual friendship that we used to have in high school. Where it was yeah. just basic, like, superficial. It's different for me. Uh -huh. I think it's that. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's your favorite quote? <clears throat> Never use the word. I wish I did. Uh, I wish I did. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's for me. Like, uh -huh. so whenever I want to to do something, I'm uh -huh. always like, please just do it. Don't uh -huh. get to a point where you'll have to say, I wish I did something. Yeah, that's for me. Oh, and really? also the Maya Angelou's quote that says, "Now that you know better, do better." Ah, yeah. those are my quotes. There's the two. For yeah. me, it's, it's an affirmation. Actually, mm -hmm. it keeps reminding me in those moments where I, I feel I'm not enough. So it's, I am enough. I keep telling oh, myself, I am enough. I am enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, which artists or film or location or activity uh, did I introduce you to that you like to date? <sighs> or a book? You introduced me to Swahili music. Oh yeah. Coastal, coastal music. Uh -huh. Tarab. Yeah, Tarab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, for real. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? I think my greatest fear is actually getting a child when um, the person, actually the person I'm getting a child with. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I believe in myself. I trust myself. Like, I, I'm going to make the best mom. But this other person. Hey, I don't know. I really I really fear who I'm going to, to side kids with. Uh, is that person going to be family oriented? Does that person mm -hmm. understand what it means to be a dad? My greatest fear has to be not achieving my dreams. Whatever dreams I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really... Even the thought of it really scares me. I know. <laughs> get up. You get a stank on your head. Responsibility is waking you up, yeah? <laughs> get up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, at what point would you describe yourself as accomplished? Because I really, really believe in social work. I'm passionate about social work. Okay. So if I can get to make a change through social work, even yeah. that neighbor at home, yeah, yeah. you know, That's impact the life, yeah, mm -hmm. I think I really feel accomplished. Mm. For me, I gotta have my mama house. Mm -hmm. I gotta have my own house. Big dreams, girl. No Big dates. dreams. <laughs> no dates anywhere. Like, no dates. I'm but not owing anyone any money. Mm -hmm. And uh, my family is fine. Mm -hmm. My nieces, like, my whole family is just okay. I think uh -huh. for me, that, that I have accomplished, like, I've fulfilled most of my goals and dreams. Mm -hmm. That's for me. Is, I'll feel like I've accomplished. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If all expenses were paid for, wow, where would you go for a one week trip to? And what would you do? Um, I think I'll go to Maldives. I knew that. Yeah, or Dubai, because yeah. I was told. <laughs> Come to Dubai, Habib, please. So I think I'll go <laughs> either way. And what I'll do, mm -hmm. I would really love to have, you know, those Maldives uh, houses. Yeah. Okay. Having their age. Mm. It's on another level. I think. Mm. Yeah. For me, it's almost similar. Bora Bora, it's kind of like Maldives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Bora Bora, yeah. Okay. Is there anything that reminds you of me? Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> a lot. A lot. But I keep going back to our high school shenanigans. Yeah, so. I, because I think we got to spend a lot of time there and that is when we got to know, to know each other. Yeah. So I think most of our memories were more created there. in high school. Yeah, in high school mm-hmm. because after high school, we used to meet only once, once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah, until now we started the podcast. Now our meeting became now more frequent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I think... I think that's why, mm-hmm. yeah. What life lessons so far stands out the most to you? Don't don't rush into things. Uh, like get take your time to think things over. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I think another lesson that I've actually learned is be patient with myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, for me, it would be don't take advice from people who have never been where you want to be. Amen. <laughs> that's that's the greatest. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I've been screwed up by a lot of people who are not even in positions. And they don't shave in your dreams. Yeah, they don't see yeah, it from yeah, your perspective. Yeah. So, yeah. When would you say I'm happiest? You are happiest when you have money. I mean, everyone is happy when they have money, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mm. think you too. Like, you're happiest when you got money. I know. You, 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 your hobbies become very expensive. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> you love shooting. I know. <laughs> uh huh. What would you like to do before your next birthday? Ah, get money. <laughs> Just get money. Uh-uh. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I hope that I would have moved abroad by then. Oh. Mm-hmm. Amen to that. Amen. That's a county temporarily. But I too, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is there any dream that you gave up on? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. I gave up on singing. Yeah. And uh, and then I actually thought of going to classes, for vocal classes and all, and then I just didn't, yeah. To me, the only dream that I gave up on was singing and acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the two of them. What did you want to be growing up? Ha! My dreams ha, were so many, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to be everything. You and me both. I wanted to be everything. I think for me, my greatest confusion has been the fact that I'm super talented in a lot of things. Yeah, you so are. So I end up getting confused. What do I really want to do? Mm-hmm. What should I actually do? Mm-hmm. Because I'm so talented in so many areas. Like, yeah. I can be a stripper. I can be... <laughs> I can be a dancer, I can be a singer. singer. Like I get I cook pretty well. So yeah. I'm like, can I be a chef? <laughs> I act. Can I be an actress? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like I'm good in IT. Should mm-hmm. I be a software developer? You know. So mm-hmm. honestly growing up I just had my dreams like that. Same, same. Uh, hello. Mm-hmm. What is something that I do that annoys you? Ah, <sighs> what is it? Sometimes you don't listen. <laughs> Here I am not you, listening you, you, again. You jump to conclusions or <laughs> perception yeah. sometimes. Yeah. But yeah. I, I have, I honestly am guilty of that. Yeah. I don't listen sometimes. Yeah. So what's mine? Honestly, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think. I don't oh, think there's something I'm perfect. that you, You're not perfect. <laughs> but there's nothing that you actually do. I guess because I'm this kind of person that I understand people. So I don't think like it's annoying mm. or like, yeah. What food or snack do you like the most and why? As as a foodie, I don't have a special a special s- snack, mm. but I I I love I love a really um, tender juicy boneless chicken, mm. yeah, with some sautéed potatoes, mm. honey glazed uh, onions. Wow! Ooh. Yes, for me that that's my soul food. Oh, honestly, okay, yeah, yeah. And you, pork ribs, chapati. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those oh, are chapati. my favorite. Yeah, chapati, <laughs> all time favorite. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is one of my favorite things to say or a phrase I use the most? It's a cuss word. You love cussing, <laughs> but everyone is cussing. You didn't say love cussing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is like I think my my my, my normal phrase is "kwani chani chapa." Kwani chani chapa. <laughs> but you know, that's my oh, normal really? thing. Like when I want to do something mm-hmm. or to uh, to do something on purpose, mm-hmm. I always ask myself, what's the worst they can do? Because I fear being king. <laughs> so I'm like, I use not chapa. That's it. Ah, what's what's the one that I use? Uh, I think is Nani, life is for the living. Yeah. Enjoy life. <laughs> for you, it's more of enjoy life. Yeah, yeah. Life yeah you are always living. enjoy life. Even I, when you're broke, <laughs> just enjoy life. High Just class like broke. We're uh-huh. broke. We're high class broke. <laughs> mm-hmm. What would you like to be remembered for? I think for being an amazing person. Just generally putting smiles on people, being funny. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. For me, that's it. 
As for me, it has never bothered me. Honestly, I really, I, I feel like it's such a self-centered thing. Mm -hmm. But as long as I've lived my life the way I want it, I, I don't really care what you remember Word. me for. You Word. know, Word. So, yeah, mm -hmm. if I fulfilled my life the way I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What constitutes a good day to you? A massage, mm. cuddling with bae. Oof. Watching movies, hey, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, lovey-dovey things, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good day for me. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> What's a good day for you? I think a good day for me is first starting off with um, a good salmon. Yeah. That really touches my heart. So true, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I come to your house, <laughs> yeah. So I think my good day is starting off with a very amazing salmon, mm -hmm. and then making my uh, my soul food, mm -hmm. watching an amazing movie, mm -hmm. uh, snuggling up in my blankets alone. <laughs> Because I don't like, so I don't like, I don't like being around people that much. Ah. Uh, I get annoyed so easily. So yeah, that's for me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. What's one thing you'd like to cross off your bucket list this year? Sadly, my trip to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> you want to shake your ass on a yacht? Oof. <laughs> in Dubai, in a thong. In a thong. Yeah. So that's off the mm. list. And you? Dancing. I want to work on my leg work and my hand coordination. I'm mm -hmm. really poor. I am good at salsa and all, mm -hmm. but yeah, dancing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that when I go to concerts, I really enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> what qualities do you admire in me? I'll just go back to your resilience. Okay. Yeah, to your resilience. But you, it's qualities, honey. I need more. <laughs> Ambition, and then the way you're multi-talented. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're so good at so many things. Creative things, because I love creative things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm always amazed by your creativity. You're mm -hmm. so creative, by the way. And you're a natural when you're doing things. Yes. Amen. Yeah. I think the, the qualities I admire in you, mm -hmm. first thing first, you're carefree. Um, uh, another quality I admire about you, uh, like I say, you're adaptive in nature. Another thing, you are the most supportive person. As a friend, like, I mean, you are the most, I, mean, I love that. I see that in you and I'm like, wow. If I could have 10 months in my life, <laughs> my life would Your be life way better. better. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're very supportive. And then you're very respectful Respectful when it comes to people's hustles and people's lives and their things. Their environment. Like, you know where not to cross even without someone communicating it to you mm -hmm. like and then you're totally responsible for me those are like mm, ah. like perfect honestly someone marry me already <laughs> should i get down on my knees <laughs> <laughs> oh okay um do an impression an impression of me see <laughs> china <laughs> I think that I think that's for you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know any better. I think that's for you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that's for you. Let me think of an impression of you. There's a way your voice comes out when you're imitating accents. Yeah. If it's a Luya accent, you're so good at imitating accents, and I can't imitate that. Okay. So yeah. Uh, the experience for me, having been on this. Um, conversational tea time with my co-host has been really amazing i think i've gotten to learn a lot uh because for for me and her every time we get to hang out it's more of like a learning experience you get to know more and deeper about the other person so this was pretty much amazing exciting i must say uh, because i realized things about me i didn't know from her and i also learned things from about her what i learned today about my own self <laughs> is that um, that I'm really resilient. I get that a lot, but sometimes I get to feel like, you know, sometimes I, I get to give up. And if, you know, my friends don't see me giving up on me. They see me being resilient. So it's, it's a good reminder to actually know that, you know, I'm actually resilient. It means that, you know, you can stretch me out. I'll still come back strong. <laughs> yeah. And what I learned about my, uh, my co-host, 
uh, Nancy is that uh, she's actually thinking, as in she has greater thoughts about me, which is like, okay, that's nice. Yeah. She described me as ambitious, adaptive, and um, honestly, I'm at, I'm, I'm at a place where I really needed to hear that because, yeah, I feel rigid, uh, you know, so I really need to be reminded that I can adapt. <laughs> The one question that stood out to me was if I, I mean, her bucket list, I was like, damn, that's like someone is, I have a prayer request somewhere written for me. So yeah, that stood out for me. I was really shocked. Yeah. I'll definitely do it again. Totally. I would actually do this a thousand times if I'm asked. Yeah. And I would recommend uh, uh, people to actually do this because it's really engaging and uh, uh, you have a safe space with no judgment to actually open up and get to know the other person way better. And your smile got the best of me. Got me singing on this melody. And even if the stars fails now, I know that I'm happy with you. I'm happy with you. I know that I'm happy with you. Your smile, your voice. I know that I'm happy with you. <laughs> Join us for Tea Time.